a second. Uh, Nathan is on the line uh, right now. Nathan, you're the chairman of the Hawkesbury River uh, County Council. Um, tell us about your thoughts about what's been happening in your region the past couple of days and how that Warragamba Dam wall is just not high enough. Well, good evening, Paul, and it's a pleasure to be with you. Look, I represent uh, uh, not only uh, the community in the Hawkesbury, but the broader community uh, along the floodplain and the organisation that I chair is responsible for, for waterway health. Now, what really frustrates me is that what's missing from this conversation is the voice of the community that is at the greatest risk of flooding. And it really eats my cheesecake that many of the opponents of raising Warragamba Dam do so from a place of relative safety. They normally live in the eastern suburbs or up in the hills, and they are high and dry and out of harm's way. And I have spent the last four days visiting poor people in my community who have been flooded out, who are standing in their yards trying to keep their precious belongings above the waterline. I met a man today, all he had was the clothes on his back. And if, if some capital expenditure to raise Warragamba Dam is going to make my community safer, then I don't care how much it costs. I hope it's affordable. But I mean, the damage of a bad flood, they project, could be anywhere between seven and $10 billion. There are 134,000 people that live and trade on the floodplain in the Penrith and Hawkesbury areas. And there have been 125 floods since European settlement. So if I can say anything to a certainty, it's that what we have seen today will happen again. And if the risk to flooding can be lowered by about three quarters by building a higher wall at Warragamba Dam, we need to crack on and get that finished. I'm with you. Thank you, Councillor. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Nathan, as part of the local council in that part of Sydney. Quick break.